Hello, I just want to start off by saying that I have been playing Revelation since early access in February. I have for the most part been keeping up with the competitive crowd that plays this game, and I have put hundreds of hours into this game. Revelation Online is a good game, so I'll build from there. It's got a unique art style which can be really pretty, and the PvE content can be challenging if you go into it blind, <laughs> but that's literally where it ends. So let's dive into the bad. Starting with weekly capping of progression in gear, money, and experience. Leveling is frustrating because XP caps leave you to grind open world mobs for minuscule XP gains. In my journey from 60 to 69, I found myself doing all my leveling, dungeons, quests, and 1-2 to two hours of the day, leaving the rest of it to do nothing. Crafting is also heavily limited because you can only do so much, and at 69 it probably takes me 10-15 to 15 minutes to empty all of my weeks crafting stamina to both gather and craft items to sell. Expert dungeons are your main source of gear progression, or money, and they are also heavily limited to being cleared from 3 to 1 time per week. On top of that, you can't help other people on the hardest difficulty of any expert dungeon if you have already used up your entries, or entry. Now, the game's solution to these problems comes in the shape of the cash shop. From providing you with the option to get more experience per week in the form of whimsy, or providing you with glass fire stone to just craft better gear than dungeon drops. Uh, let's look into the batter. The game's PvP combat can be fun at times, but no PvP aspect of this game is truly equalized. Everything PvP in this game is subject to your credit card. Daily battlegrounds are not equalized. Arena on all servers, I'm pretty sure is dead because again, it is not equalized. Now Deathmatch and Star Shatter Island, which are two weekly events, are equalized in the sense that it only normalizes the quality of your gems and the stats on your gear. If you're missing gem sockets, you're at a disadvantage. If your DAOs aren't good, you're at, dis you're at a disadvantage. If the tier of your gear isn't good, you're at a disadvantage. And if your soul grid isn't good, you're also at a disadvantage. The game's open world territory war system is pretty good, and honestly can be one of its most fun aspects, but it is completely ruined by the alliance system that it comes with. The ability to ally up to two other guilds in a territory war can produce a pretty boring monopoly of land, especially when your server might barely have enough competitive people to be in three guilds. The bugs in this game are rampant, you are not allowed to use a VPN or a service like What the Fast. If you are caught, you have to pay. You have to pay actual money to reduce your ban sentence. And I guess I will end with the worst aspects of this game. The RNG is in everything, from refining your weapon over and over, to getting relevant venerations for your gear, which you will reroll hundreds of times per piece. You could grind world bosses for gems and hope you get lucky every time, or you could get the equivalent reward of getting lucky on a world boss over a week's work and one cash shop RNG box. Cash shop dies aren't implemented yet, but they are bound items that come from an RNG box. To get the color you want, you might have to get lucky on the same color 8 times before it becomes usable to you. Your one weekly recipe reward for a crafted piece of gear is RNG, so it can be worth 100k or 3 million. The rewards for doing anything in this game are almost non-existent. If there wasn't a cash shop, it would take you months of grinding to plus 13 and 6 socket a single piece of gear. Everything is capped and takes a massive amount of time to progress unless you, unless you cash shop. The only good rewards from doing something in this game come from either an RNG box or being the server first to do something. The management of this game, from releasing two new outfits every three months and packaging everything cosmetic related else in a giant $30 to $60 bundle that comes with stuff you might not want, is ridiculous. Bugs that have existed and been reported since closed beta 1 that are still active in the game is ridiculous. PayPal instantly refunding you if you make a purchase through them from my.com because they know this company is shady is ridiculous. And the honest truth is that you need to spend thousands of dollars to not feel useless in this game. Oh shit, we're going in the oh, rear, nigga. Oh, I got raped. <laughs> I don't know. 3 from behind, wipe them from behind! Yeah, we're pincering them right now, Snappy. Push, pushing them, pushing them there. Pushing them, <laughs> pushing them. <laughs> there. Push, you can push! Snappy, Somebody you can push the program, Yeah, we wiped. I've done from behind, but we're what? fucking flanking them, yeah, Snappy! You gotta say something. 
Well, right it was on with the impressions, and like I swear. They just that built up. Gonna literally kill you. Kill you. Are you guys respawn rune or no? Lust kill this nigg that's right next to you. No, there's no yeah, point. It's too late. Yes. I'm a healer. Wow. What are you doing? You can come back sure. later. I'm keeping people alive. You're not fucking healing. Don't lie to me. I just want to They're all gonna attack on one side. We need more people on one side. Literally, people don't heal on this. I haven't received. I don't even know why SSBT are coming in. 